perforated ulcer is something we don't see as much of these days with the advent of new uh, anti-acid medications. Um, it's a very serious condition where a hole or an ulcer develops in the stomach or in the intestine and the contents leak out into the abdomen. This can make you quite ill when you get inflammation from something. Um, ibuprofen can cause it, bacteria can cause it, stress can cause it. Um, some people secrete abnormally high amounts of gastric acid, that can cause it. And for whatever reason, in a particular part of the stomach or the GI tract, this will begin eroding until eventually it actually just pops through and a hole develops between the inside of the stomach and the outside. The first sign most people will notice is abdominal pain, fever, sometimes nausea or vomiting. And it's usually fairly dramatic. Um, the patients will often come to the ER very quickly after the symptoms begin and can progress fairly quickly to becoming quite ill. When ulcers perforate and are left untreated, these can actually lead to death through a widespread infection throughout the body. So these are diagnosed usually clinically. Uh, very often, CAT scans and x-rays are not required. It's a very obvious diagnosis uh, to pick up on, and it requires a large, rapid operation to control the leakage from this ulcer. Uh, generally, this is a, a midline incision with exposure of the abdominal contents. The ulcer is visualized and is repaired with a variety of techniques that we have. The patient often will stay in the hospital for several days afterwards before we allow them to um, drink liquids and eventually move on to solid foods. A gastric ulcer or a perforated ulcer is something that can affect anybody. Patients who've had gastric surgery, such as a gastric bypass for weight loss, are at elevated risk for this. Usually this can be prevented with medications, but in some cases it can develop even when a patient has taken the medications they should be.